on the roof trying to locate this roof leak that we have. So I kind of think it could be this gap right here that when enough rain, we had a monsoon the other day and I'm wondering if it's getting down in there underneath the flashing and then running down because right in there is where the water's coming through the roof uh, into the kitchen. But I'm wondering if it's starting up here and it's just escaping down there. So this is kind of funny. We've had some jokes lately about that this probably was a gas station. And I don't, I don't know that that's fully a joke. <laughs> it's a possibility. Let me show you why. So this is in the front yard and there were some gas pumps on the property. According to the inspections, there are no underground tanks that they were above ground tanks and they've been removed. So we're good from a like cleanliness of the soil standpoint. But I mean, minus the addition. So this concrete block part came first, right? It could have been a gas station. <laughs> They are headed out for a little scavenger hunt that we did. And we, once we come back, we get co a cookie and hot chocolate. And I'm hoping this is going to buy me time to just finish my second coat on this wall and this wall. I think I can do it. So we have poured the first pour for Erlen's pink bedroom. And it is pink. I don't know if you can tell. It's called First Crush. And it's by right. Benjamin Moore or Clark and Kensley Pin. And it's right. So, Erilyn, yeah. this is the first time you've had a pink room. How does it feel? Good. Good? Mom, I need to go back now. Alrighty, we'll deal with that. Good work, honey. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's my homemade. Look at this, babe. Come here. Wow. Can I, can I use the little Beautiful. Thing, okay? Yeah, I like it. Erlyn, you like it? Uh-huh. <laughs> she said when she grows cream. <laughs> like, we're already planning the next color. <laughs> when she grows up, she's going to paint it cream. Yeah, but she's already planning the next color. Good work. So, I need to uh, cut some plywood to be able to lay down in the attic uh, where we're going to be measuring out the, the stove pipe going through. Uh, because there's blown insulation all in our attic and you can't see where the uh, rafters and studs and everything are so you'll be just kind of blind guessing where you're walking I mean not totally blind but it's really tight space and so you're gonna have to crawl and so I figured I should get some kind of flooring uh, strip laid down there to make it easier to get back and forth to where we'll be putting the chimney pipe through if we can fit some of these up through the attic crawl space and get some supports laid down to walk on. So we have a big problem, pretty much exactly where I wanted the uh, stove pipe to be down below in the living room, lines up exactly with this air duct vent right here, which splits these two rafters. So, and then we have the wall of the living room is probably in here. So we can't come to this section of rafters to put it. 
because it's right up against the wall. Even if we did the proper backing and stuff on the wall. If we go here, we got the vent. And then if we go in the next slot, we're looking at being <laughs> the stove being pretty much in the middle of the living room. <laughs> so my current only idea is to close off this vent <clears throat> and not use it anymore. Uh, so that's, I guess, an option. If, you, if you've never heard of a plumb bob, this is a homemade plumb bob. And no, a plumb bob is not a plumber named Bob. <laughs> Could be. But anyways, it just allows you to tie a point to an area you're measuring and then it dangles straight down so you can get a good reference point uh, when you're drilling holes and, you know, drilling out holes in your ceiling and in your roof. So... We are laying out the stove and then our pad uh, will actually go all the way to the wall, but then out to here, sorry, out to here. And then we're looking at slate, probably 36 to 48 inches and then a mantle. We're doing it. And here we have some lovely gas station linoleum. Wow. Cool dad. Who did it? You did it after. <laughs> so we've gone back and forth on where to put the wood stove. We were going to do it through the ceiling. Then we were going to move it to the side wall and do a wall through the wall uh, kit. But our siding of our house is cinder block so then i didn't want to mess with that um so now we're going back through the ceiling as the game plan and i'm just going to shut off that one vent uh maybe there's a chance i could reroute it around but i'm not too worried about it uh especially since we'll be using the wood stove so much in that side of the house we're hopefully not going to be running the heat system that much um in the winter anyways so uh anyways so we are sticking with that plan and i'm going to <clears throat> head to home depot and buy all of the stuff hopefully i remember it all to build the hearth maybe get the stove pipe stuff see what they have in stock um i'm sure i'll have to order some parts though too until next time, keep living, thriving, and building.